Braylon, it's Iowa week. Um, I know you guys take it week by week, but understanding what this game kind of means in the standings, does that add any extra value going into this game? Um, I think I think in some ways, um, obviously you, you want to win every game, um, but, you know, understanding the tradition of the rivalry, um, you know, we, we have a lot of respect for it. So um, that kind of adds to the preparation uh, for the game definitely take a, another step in, in preparation, um, knowing it's going to be a, a battle um, and a, a tough test for us. Talking about that rivalry, I mean, head coach Luke Fickle, he pointed out last uh, yesterday and he said how that's important. Have you seen kind of the new coaching staff address things like the rivalries and kind of keeping the traditions of Wisconsin? Um, we, uh, during fall camp, we had like rivalry night. So the former players would come in um, to the meeting and, and kind of talk about what the rivalry has meant to them. Um, Current players spoke on it. Everybody that's, that's played in the game kind of uh, speaks on all the rivalries. So um, that was that was one thing Coach Fick made sure to, um, you know, like I said, address. Uh, when he first got here, um, understand the, the tradition of it. Um, and, and like I said, just having um, the respect for, for these rivalries. When you look at Iowa defense on tape, just how are they similar, different to what you've seen from them the last couple of years? Um, the same, really. Um, you know, obviously, um, they lost two first-round draft picks, um, but you know they they reload at, at each position on defense. So um, I don't think there's really much of a, a drop-off. And um, like I said, it, it'll be a tough test for us. So who are the former players that uh, talked about Iowa? Then you talk about former players that came in to talk. Um, um, Alec James, uh, and then some guys sent in videos. Chris Orr. Um, Bo Allen, uh, Melvin, uh, a bunch of guys talking about all, all the different rivalries. So. Were you one of the current guys in talk? I mean, what, is this, what does this rivalry mean to you? Um, you know, it's definitely a, a, obviously a physical game. Um, so I think that's the exciting part, exciting part about it for um, a running back, just knowing, you know, what type of game it's going to be. You know, they, they want to stop the run. And uh, so it's, it's going to be tough, and, um, you, you know, you're always excited for that challenge. When you look, you face an Iowa team that, like you said, is pretty similar on defense. How do you try to find different edges or different things to maybe give you guys an advantage? Um, well, I think it, it um, kind of comes along with scheme. And, um, you know, obviously they're not as familiar with what we're going to do now that we're running a, a different offense. So. Uh, I guess that's not really my job to say. It's more so um, on Coach Longo things that he can find that uh, will help us win. Talking about last season, like you said, it's a similar defense, but you guys running a different offense last year. Do you guys still go back and kind of look at last last year's game, the close loss, and try and take things away, or are you guys kind of wiping the slate, wiping the slate clean? Um, we personally, as, as running backs, have it, um, wouldn't look at last year's tape, but uh, – I think just thinking back on the game, there's definitely a lot of things that I know I could have done better personally, um, and just you know hope to be have a, have a much better game um, than I did this last year. I think Deacon Hill has become their quarterback after an injury there last many the years when he was here. Just what do you remember about him? What do you think he kind of brings to an offense for Iowa? Um, you know the I obviously the thing that stands out about Deacon is his, his arm strength. Um, so I think, you know, that's a, that's a threat that we have to be prepared for. Um, yeah. What was he like, maybe off the field or just when you guys were? Uh, we didn't really, I would say we really hung out too much. Uh, like I said, classmates and, and whatnot, but um, I mean, we had a good relationship, obviously being, being um, teammates, but you know, we weren't super close. What have your conversations been like with Jackson, uh, you know, bracing a new role and then seeing what he did last weekend and that kind of thing? I mean, what have you kind of tried to give to him as your message as, as the other guy in the backfield? Uh, well, well, he's learning pretty quick, pretty quickly um, what type of toll it takes on his body. And uh, he had some things to say about that when we came in on Sunday, but I thought that was funny. But uh, I, I think, you know, he has it. Um, obviously, the talent, uh, I think the mindset and, and all the confidence in himself, knowing that you know he can compete and, and play at a high level. So I, I haven't really had to, to uh, tell him too much. What did you see from him on Saturday? I, I know you mentioned you know him driving down the field, and then obviously the fumble happened. But I mean, what what stood out to you about his performance on Saturday? Um, like I like I said, he, I just 
I felt he was really confident in, in his ability. Um, and, you know, that's something that me and, me and Coach Baldwin tried to, to make sure of um, throughout the week, you know, that he was going to be fully confident and ready to go. And I thought he played that way. You dragging the, the Colts up now? <laughs> After, <laughs> uh, I don't know if he's been in there or not. I'm gonna have to, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to get him in there. Speaking of that, it's supposed to be cold and rainy, and obviously it's 